The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, <laughs> so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Oh my so god. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? No, huh? Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! 来呀，休怕。That's enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than seventy-two hours. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. <laughs> I'm not oh. sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end wow, of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twist. Oh, 
那不能戴上墨镜吗 ？Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. The guys taking a break from reality hold up here in this crazy apartment. 哇，他的药这么多。Stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Wow, 靠，全是药哎！哎，这晚多久没洗了啊？我靠All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Ah. And the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. 也对啦，万一知道了还要拿打那个光线。Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job. My have a job? sole occupation is praying to the All Merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4:30 p.m. Here. I was here. I was praying all day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? 真的，我也很怕看牙医。We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks. 我都是到最后一刻才会看牙医。Speak that name. That man. What does he say to you, Blake, Nathaniel? What are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No, no. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told That's you to go and find that kid. Leave him park. alone. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? He 干嘛这样子对那个人 ？Stop! Stop! That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them stop. Carter, you took that boy with you when you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! <coughs> stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you going to confess, you bastard? <coughs> You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall smash you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to Earth to destroy us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Now gently put the gun down on the floor. Team, you shall regret. The emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Christ, all powerful, defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of His empire, and may divine power cast、oh, all the spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. 
Back away, slowly. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Woo! Put your hands on your head. Turn around. I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. It was only a crucifix. <laughs> Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh shit, to a salad huh? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs>